Welcome to the analysis of this channel. I want to continue appreciating you so much because of your continuity to support the work of this channel. If it was not you, we could have not reached this milestone that we are today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is why Ruto's Kenya Kwanzaa is likely to miss parliament privileges. And as far as we are concerned, Unlike President Uhuru Kenyatta's regime, where his government enjoyed the backing of the majority member of parliament, Ruto is going to have a commands in his term when and with a minority side in the House. Kenya Kwanza uh, is a coalition that comprises a UDA Democratic Alliance. That is UDA. We are having a Mani National Congress, and that is ANC. We are having Ford Kenya. We are having Chama Chakazi of um, Alfred Mutua. We are having Democratic Party of Justin Muturi, the Service Party of Mwangi Kiunjuri, among others. Now, as for now, Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance is having 160 MPs in the National Assembly. This is a sum inclusive of nominated. Yes, a sum inclusive nominated slots garnered by the affiliates party. On the other hand, Azimio Laumoja is, um, is having 173 MPs in the National Assembly, which hands the coalition the advantage as the majority side of the House. While the perception is that the winning side takes um, the leader of the majority um, seat. Uh, according to my understanding, I think that the majority side does not necessarily mean that the party uh, is the party that is forming the government, but rather the largest party in the parliament. And that is according to my argument. I don't know about your, uh, about your argument. Because majority, according to my argument, majority does not mean being in the government. Am I clear? Then it is the party with the majority members. Government business in parliament will have to be conducted eh, by the minority side in case when it comes to this political side of William Samaruto. Because so far he is legally according to the constitution and also according to the register of the political party, William Samuruto is, um, is the minority leader in accordance to the, um, um, what we do understand, the numbers of uh, Kenya Kwanzaa and the numbers of Azimura Moja. So this is also, uh, is captured, yes? The way I was looking at, this is also captured in the Article 108 of the Constitution. I think which um, Article 1, 108 of the Constitution, which stipulates that the leader of the majority, yes, is the leader in the parliament of the largest party or coalition. And that is lying to the side of Azimio Moja and Maybe despite that the United Democratic Movement, that is UDM, Mindeleo Chap Chap and Pamoja African Alliance, that is powerful Amazon Kingi, having signed a post-election yes, agreement with Kenya Kwanzaa, I think um, the law that governs the information of political party coalition, according to my research, states that they can only be recognized as Kenya Kwanzaa members after three months. Three months. That is according to my research. I don't know how you think, um, is, how is this thing going? Because Mimi Nafikiriya Ivo. So this implies that the new president, that is William Samuruto, eh, will be operating without a leader of majority. Yes? And majority with my. my uh, this implies, according to my research, that the new president, William Samuruto, yes, 
will be operating without a leader of majority, one. Number two, a majority whip, both of whom, according to me, yes, they are instrumental in advancing legislative agenda in parliament. I don't know <laughs> if I'm clear. Yes, so this will further imply that the Kenya Kwanza will miss out on the control of House Committee's leadership. I think according to what I have noted is that the new administration yeah, will be in need of friendly House considering the task yes, of vetting and approving cabinet secretaries or cabinet nominees that await the, co the, the coalition. That is Kenya Kwanza and um, in terms of what they want to comprise their cabinet as per there, William Samuruto is the leader. So again, I went further and um, I tried to look at certain article, yes, article 152 of the constitution, cabinet appointee, yes, have to be approved. <laughs> by the members of the National Assembly before getting the nod to be sworn in. That is the fact and that is whatever is going to happen towards whatever uh, the House of National Assembly is going on. So this, this situation I think is that um, mm, may necessit necessitate the lobbying and I think when it comes to comprised what is comprising from the government side, yes, to facilitate the smooth flow, or the smooth, uh, sorry, the smooth flow of the government business in the parliament, or else I think it's going to be hard, and I think this was realized when it comes to the government of Jubilee. It was very fundamental, and that is why you see Uhuru came, came out very elaborate, uh, um, having friendship with the opposition, that is uh, NASA by then. And that is why the work of Uhuru Kenyatta has been smooth because he make good friend with opposition. So this gives room for negotiation, I think, uh, and com uh, compromise between the functions. And this is Kenya Kwanza and Azimi. So Ruto and Kenya Kwanza, yes, coalition could, however, be handed a lifeline in his quest to control the bicameral, bicameral parliament when the agreements entered by UDM, yes, and other parties, which according to me, eh, which were initially as Mio, um, are recognized by the office of the register of the political party. In fact, the register of the political party is recognizing that Azimio is still the, um, the, 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 the majority in the house, no matter what, even if William Samuruto is poaching the leaders all over. The fact is, William Samuruto, Kenya Alliance, is going to remain minority side for three months. So the 13th parliament is scheduled to hold an inaugural sitting on Thursday, starting this Thursday. Thursday? Not, not this Thursday. Thursday, September 8th. According to what uh, Uhuru Kenyatta gazetted. Yes. So among, I, I think uh, when I was looking at the, 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 the list, among the first agendas of the new members yeah, will be electing speakers and his deputy as provided for the standing orders. And I think uh, there was an allegiance that um, now Kalonzo Msoka, yes, according to my opinion, they were going to um, to compete. And that is uh, Kalonzo Msioka. I think according to certain article, I found that Kalonzo Msioka um, was not, uh, he has responded. I have not seen any clear response from Kalonzo Msioka. But in, in real indication, it, sh it was showing a, true, a certain way that Kalonzo Msioka was not comfortable going for a speaker of the National Assembly, that this was a shame. And for him, he could have uh, left this for Kenneth Marende to battle it with uh, Moses uh,
Masika Wetambul. So ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts towards this analysis? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, if you're a visitor, please do me a favor, subscribe to this channel. Bye-bye till we meet on another video.